hello friend let's see the solution of quote of question number one well in this question the question is a body with the zero initial velocity moves down a rough inclined plane from a height let's say this h then ascend along the same plane it's ascend along the same plane with an initial velocity such that it stop at the same height h in which case is the time of motion will be longer let's say i just explain you the question according to the question let's say here is any body let's move with any velocity v1 so finally it will reach here and after this once it will reach this according to the question then it ascend along the same plane then it ascend along the same plane means once again it will ascend at the, the same plane and it will reach the same height let's say with the velocity v2 well if you we'll consider the friction if friction is taken into the consideration the velocity v1 of the body at the end of the descent at the end of the descent let's say is smaller than the velocity while the v2 that has to be imparted to the body for raising it along the inclined plane is larger obviously for talking about the velocity which is descent will be smaller right or larger what it will happen obviously the velocity will be larger right it is moving downward it is moving downward hence the friction will be comparatively less as compared to the when it will move against the friction in ascent case right so obviously the velocity will be here smaller in ascent case in descent case the velocity will be small larger right so well since the descent and ascent occur with the constant acceleration and the transverse path is same the time t1 of the descent and the time let's say t2 for the ascent so let's use the formula like s is equal to velocity into time that is distance is equal to speed into time so we'll have like so let's say the velocity is v1 and t1 for the let's say whatever the earlier one for i'll consider as a descent if it is descent so it's okay descent as a v1 and v2 has to be i ascend so well where s is the distance cover the distance will remain same this path the distance will remain same right this distance will remain same both the case along the inclined plane since the velocity is inequality right velocity is unequal or obviously velocity for for what ascent or descent which will be right uh, greater think so obviously velocity of descent will be larger right velocity of descent will be larger compared to the ascent so let's say v2 is the velocity of descent velocity of descent to going downward and velocity v1 is for ascent hence which one of them velocity is greater that will take lower time it means if v1 is having the smaller speed hence it will take larger time t1 will have the larger as compared to the t2 thus in the presence of sliding friction the time of descent from the height h is longer than the time of ascent to the same height okay i give you once again one rough idea guys let's say let's draw a triangle and climb plane it will take lesser time let's say t1 compared to the its ascent the reason you can write very easy that the t2 works against the friction the one line i'll just tell you work done against the friction against the friction and it is moving downward hence comparatively it will be having a much speed larger speed hence it will take smaller time to cover the distance that is the only answer of this thank you for watching this video